is a little bumblebee trauma. Look at this. Oops. See, there's one in the hole. So what I did was I put the smack down on one earlier. There he is. You can get him by both his wings. And let him go visit the one that's in there. He thinks he's flying wides. You gotta make the sounds. Oh, he grabbed it again. Look at that. Little trauma. Get out of my hole. Get out of there. Okay, okay, let me out. But that one's dead though, right? Yeah, the one that's dangling, that's having his antenna eat off, is dead. Okay. Clear for takeoff. He's still peeking out. I don't know how they turn around in the hole. <laughs> Fun game, let's do it again. If you go in here, you get your bumblebee. Bumblebee tuna. And you take him and you go Gotta make it move around so he thinks it's really getting some action. Now he's gonna get ticked. He's like, man, are you back again? Oh, he took it. It's like fishing for bumblebees. Let's give you angle number two. Let's see what's going on in there. That's freaky. This is on the freaky side, isn't it? He's like, okay. I'm tired of this game. Oh look, there's his friend. These little guys are actually pretty social. No, they're not social. Uh oh. Hey, let's see if he goes in the same hole as the other one. Boy, if I could catch you without getting stung, I'd shove your rear end in there. For people who don't think bumblebees sting, catch one in your hand one day. They put like four little stingers in you. It hurts like crap. Alright. Look at he's oh he went oh he went in that hole. God, we got a new resident. <laughs> Let's see if he's aggressive. This is our uh <laughs> little outdoor pool shower I built for the kids. They have yet to use it. Because it's so cold, you just hook up a hose to the bottom of it. Okay, here we go. See what we get. Gotta be wiggling him around. I'm trying not to get stung. <clears throat> this guy's not as aggressive. He ain't playing bumblebee tuna. I get scared. Okay, let's go back down here and bother this guy. I right, got him again. Same one though. He's putting the smack down on his melon. No, on his face off. Uh... He's saying, I'm going to teach you a lesson. I'm about to get stung. I feel somebody behind me. Joker's mad. I said, I told you not to come in here anymore. Get out. Get out of here. Spit him out. Hello, anybody home? Alright. It's enough bumblebee tuna fun. Oh, smoke sound about one of my shorts. Alright. Done with this game. This is our outdoor, uh, shower we built for the kids since you get to enjoy the bumblebee battle i thought i'd show you this we're doing it all in linseed oil so we started at the bottom now we're making our way up it, well, all the wood was really white like that where it's been drying out i know there's other water seals but linseed oil works real good for tannin hides and other things 
including wood. It's pretty good, huh? This is my mechanism to open it. Kids can just pull that, put their hand on the door, and then open it. The problem I had before is this wouldn't fall back down. So the door would, wouldn't latch when you close it. So I put this old timey lid right here. Oops, that I painted gold. I go bury it in the woods somewhere, unless I might find it with a metal detector. Huh? So we still gotta do the insides, of course. We did the bench. But it came out neat. It's nothing more than a box, and I dug that out pretty deep right there and full, full of nothing but bags and bags of gravel. And put a couple of block, you know, square concrete things in there. But I tell you, my one mistake is these. These are the nice ones at Lowe's that were kind of copper coated. They weren't supposed to rust or anything. And they look like crap. They rusted immediately. Well, they used to look like that. Kind of the right side of it. And let's drag my hose around the bottom and hook it up and turn it on. The pool's salt water, so it kind of helps to salt it away. There's this pool. That's about it. Then I drug some rocks out of the creek and put them right here. We put in some good good topsoil and stuck our plants in there. Actually, I put in topsoil, then I put uh, some weed guard stuff in there. Yeah, these rocks were tough to get out of the creek, but I got them out. And that's it. I'm about to finish coating it, and then I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Wait right there. I just done. Covered it in linseed oil. Let me show you the other side that we were working on. Looks better, don't it? I think so. Anyway, the whole shower, for those who are interested, costs about 600 bucks, including the grass and the stones. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bumblebee Tuna.